The banks in Washington state were among the first to be impacted by fallout from the pandemic. Tonight, Washington food banks are faced with an overwhelmed supply chain and a dramatic drop in volunteers. Wayne Haverly shows us how they're trying to keep local families from going hungry. Wayne? Yeah, as more and more people lose their paychecks, uh, the need for food assistance, it just keeps growing and growing. And uh, the officials at the uh, Clark County Food Bank, they tell me that uh, over the past couple of weeks, they've seen the demand uh, rise about 15%, and that's compared to this same time period last year. But they expect it in the coming weeks to go up and up from here. Feeding a family of five has never been tougher for Wendy Garcia. My husband hasn't been working and my other cousin also just doesn't have a lot of work also. So it's been really hard just for me, you know, to try and provide for my family. Food boxes from Fish of Vancouver are a lifeline for a fast growing number of people who have been financially pummeled by the shutdown. We're not letting clients in the building currently. Uh, they can check in through an intercom system and then we just push the food out through a uh, curtain. We'll get that for you down at the next window, thank you. Fish is somehow managing all these changes with just a skeleton staff as most regular volunteers are older. Really, we need volunteers. We're down um, about 90% of our volunteers are, are elderly and not coming right now. And it's the same story at food banks all across the county. They are um, staying home, staying in place. Adding to the lack of volunteers and increased demand is a disrupted supply chain. The Clark County Food Bank supplies food to 130 different distribution sites in southwest Washington. But just like we've all discovered in recent weeks, finding affordable food to buy has never been more challenging. The places that we would normally purchase food and order it are still there. They just don't have it with kind of immediate access. So we really don't know what's going to happen as our food supply here at the food bank dwindles. Hamilton says the Clark County Food Bank has enough inventory for the next month, but statewide projections show the situation will likely get worse before it gets better. It hasn't been overwhelming at this point. Our, our food inventory seems to be okay. Client numbers are about the same, but we really do think that's gonna change pretty quickly. Well, donations, they are trending down, unfortunately, because everybody is hurting right now. And to make matters worse, the upcoming mail carrier drive, that's the biggest drive of the year nationally for food banks, that has been canceled. It was scheduled for May. They have not rescheduled it yet. So it's a tough situation right now as we look forward, a lot of uncertainty. So if you are available to volunteer for a food bank, I am sure every food bank in this region would love to hear from you. Back to you.